Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm making this on January the 1st, so Happy New Year. Um, I'd love to know in the comments below what you guys did for your New Year. Um, I had quite a um, relaxed New Year. I didn't do anything too big. I just went over to a mate's house. It was raining heaps, so I had my umbrella up the whole time and we walked down to the beach and watched the fireworks. But the fireworks were really nice, but we only watched the nine o'clock fireworks um and then i came home and went to bed at like 10 o'clock so i had a really early new year um, i was really tired i worked all day on new year's eve so i've got the day off today so i thought i'd upload a video for you guys um and yeah i'd really like to hear about what you guys did for your new year so the first thing I'm doing when I'm making the snail mail today is I'm actually going through a book that my mother gave me for Christmas. So it's a flow book and it's called A Book That Takes Its Time. Um, now it's not the paper lover's book, it's actually a book that you would read. So it's a beautiful book that I can read over 2019. Um, and there's also some stationary bits and pieces in it as well. So I've actually taken out a few things to make for my little snail mail today. Now I'm really, really excited to make my snail mail today because I'm using all my new stationery that I got at the end of 2018. So I'm using lots of little stick girls. Um, and yeah, all those, all those bits and pieces that I opened up in my last stationery um, box. So if you want to see that video, I'll also put a link um, somewhere either in the description box or above in a little card so yeah I just wanted to do a little bit of a recap today in my voiceover of 2018 because it's been a pretty hectic year um, this might be a little bit of a longer voice over than usual but I thought I'd reminisce on what I did throughout 2018 I started studying a marketing degree and I also started an internship so I decided that I really wanted to get into marketing. I really liked doing creative things like film, um, photography, if that was ever something that I could do, and making images and posting them on social media accounts. I really wanted to get into social media marketing. Um, so I did a month intern and I didn't really like it. I wasn't directed, I wasn't taught anything and basically they just had me making videos um, for their YouTube channel, um, instructional videos about gadgets. So at the end of this intern I didn't really feel like I learnt anything. It was an unpaid intern so I quit it after a month of working with them because it was taking up too much of my time. At this point I continued um, my marketing degree online and then I decided to look for my first career job. So I applied on a bunch of places and because I had no real marketing experience other than this short month intern, I tried to apply for places where I could use my skills, my social media skills best um, because I did have a bit of um, social media influence. Obviously online I started building this YouTube channel. So I then went to a small video productions company because I have a film degree and I applied there and I got the job. So I was with this production company for around six months um, and again it was very unstructured so there was not a lot that was taught. Um, I was sort of shoved straight into this as um, their marketing manager and there was only me, the boss, and one other person who joined our team, who was the accounts manager, who managed the account, the client's account. So if any time we got in a video um, deal, then she would manage that account. But again, she wasn't quite sure what she was doing either, and I wasn't instructed very well on my role. So it was a very unstructured business. There wasn't clear um, KPIs, so there wasn't clear goals, there wasn't clear budgets. So really, I, I didn't really didn't feel like I learned a lot from this production company since I was working directly with a boss who is a producer and not a marketer. So I didn't really learn a lot. There was always plans of it expanding and us growing, but that never happened. And unfortunately, the pay wasn't very good and it didn't come frequently. So again, I had to resign from that role. 
And to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't even resign. My job just sort of became redundant and my boss didn't even tell me that was coming. So it wasn't a very good first job to jump into. I think um, I was getting taken advantage of a little bit in terms of the pay. Um, but I learned a lot from that role. I really did. And I actually made a really, really good friend there. Um, my friend Quinn was the other girl who came on board and we're really good friends today. So I'm really glad I made a friend and um, also learn a lot from my experience of what not to do. <laughs> so then I decided that I had to obviously find a new job. I didn't decide to go back to retail, which I had my background in. I thought, no, I have to get a job in marketing and I really need to find something that I can get taught um, a lot. So I started applying for all these roles and I feel like I just wasn't applying for the right roles. So I was trying to apply from anything from a junior marketer all the way up to a marketing manager. And to be quite honest with you, I shouldn't have been applying for the senior role because I didn't have the experience. But I did try to apply for any junior role that came around. And it just was such a struggle. The first month of leaving the production company, I sort of took a little bit of a break and I focused on this channel a little bit too much long. Um, because I was off work for that three month gap and as you know watching back in my videos through that time my voiceovers were a little bit um what's the word were a little bit you could see that I had a little bit of sadness inside of me there was a lot of struggle trying to find a career at that point um, because I was getting low in funds, I, I really was, Dan was, um, my partner Dan was really um, helping me out a lot at that time and I was really struggling to find that next career move. So at this point I hired, well I didn't hire, but I reached out to a agency that helped you find jobs, so a recruitment agency and I said I need help. And basically they said to go on their website and search through their marketing jobs they had on there. As I was searching through their marketing jobs, I actually stumbled across a role as a recruitment consultant. And this is one of the largest uh, recruitment agencies in Australia. They are massive and I thought I may as well apply for that because a lot of the things on their website actually ticked all the boxes of the skills that I had. So a highly motivated person, someone who wants career progression, someone looking to get paid a decent salary and also someone who's quite self-motivated. And they're all the things that I have. So I applied for this recruitment agent job and I got my first interview. So I was really excited at this point. And at the same time, I also reached out and applied for other jobs in retail. And I applied for a Kiki K manager. Um, and as I was going for these recruitment um, interviews to become a recruitment agent, I actually got a position at Kiki K to become a store manager. And as you know, Kiki K is my absolute favorite store, um, stationery store in Sydney. So I was really conflicted because I absolutely would have loved to have worked there. The culture is just amazing and I would have got a really good discount, which was, um, which was looking very, very good at this stage. So I was still going through my last interviews with this recruitment agency and I actually got offered that position too. So I was conflicted in getting, in accepting a job as a store manager at a company that I loved or a recruitment agency where there was lots of career progression, there was um, a high salary and also um, there was lots of opportunities as a large company, they could offer a lot more and it was in a corporate environment so I would have got taught a lot of different skills. So I decided to take that option and I said goodbye to Kiki K unfortunately um, but I don't regret it one bit because this is an amazing career that I've stepped into. So thank you everyone who subscribed to my channel in 2018 and everyone who's been following my journey for a long time. I hope 2019 is going to be a good year. Um, and yeah, I'd love to know in the description box below what you did on your New Year's Eve um, at 12 o'clock. Did you watch the fireworks? Um, and what are your plans for the New Year's? I'd also love to hear about your New Year's resolutions and what you've got planned. I'll make a little video later on when I'm creating a 2019 diary about my New Year's resolutions. 
um, and I'll talk more in that in detail then. Um, but I hope you all have a lovely new year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!